Today I saw the Eclipse movie and I am absolutely in love with it and really wanted to do some inspired looks and the first one I'm going to do is Rosalie and I think that she already has a lot of natural beauty and that she doesn't need a whole lot of makeup so I'm just going to be using a couple of items. I think that she has more of the, the classic look so I'm going to go ahead and get started by applying some liquid foundation. I'm actually going to be using the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Clean Tint. And I chose this because, one, because of the shade, which is fair to light. I didn't want to really apply any kind of color with my foundation because they are extremely, extremely fair skin being vampires and all. So that's one reason. Another reason is I just found this and I hadn't used it in a while and wanted to use it. So I'll let you know what I think of it as I haven't used it in a while and it has the salicylic acid in it which is supposed to help clear skin also so I guess we'll see. Obviously I'm not going to see right now but you know if I continue using it I might do a review on it. As you can see this really didn't add any color so I don't have to worry about looking too blushed or pink or anything like that. Next thing I'm going to use is this Mary Kay Loose Powder because I've noticed whenever I wear it it makes me look really pale so I'm trying to achieve that look so I'm going to go ahead and use it. And I'm actually going to be using my Mary Kay brush set which comes in a flat bag like this and you can just open it up and then it has your brushes right here. And it actually comes with five different brushes. It comes with a powder brush, it looks like this. A cheek brush, which is slanted, which is really good whenever you want to contour your cheeks, stuff like that. You always want to make sure that your cheek brush is slanted. A definition eye definer brush. It's a must. Haha, <laughs> just rhymed. And then a eye crease brush and finally the classic eyeliner eyebrow brush it has the eye the eyebrow brush on one side and then if you turn it over it actually has an eyeliner brush that looks like this all right so for the powder I'm going to be using the powder brush and you're going to use this the same way you're going to use mineral makeup. You're just going to take a little bit from here. And this has a lot in it. So I'm just going to pat in the lid. And then apply it in a circular motion all over your face. So now I look extra pale. Yay. But that was my goal. The next thing I'm going to use is one of the mineral shadows that I did in my last haul, I'm going to use the Shira Cosmetics SSN. And I'm going to be applying this over the eyelid and near the crease. And for this, I'm going to be using just a regular brush. So that is just right on the crease and then the next thing I'm going to do is take the frosting from Copper B and we're going to use the Eye Definer Definition Brush. Just take a little bit of I'm just going to take a little bit of the eyeshadow and apply this right above the crease. This is going to give us a, a little bit of color. But I don't think Rosalie needs a lot of color because she is described in the book and also in the movie as someone who is very beautiful and even as a human she was just unnaturally beautiful so I don't really think she needs a whole lot of makeup. 
But I did notice in the movie she wore black eyeliner, so I'm just going to be using the Mary Kay black eyeliner. I'm going to use it on the top and the bottom. Okay, once you have your eyeliner on, the next step is to apply mascara. And again, with the mascara, I chose to use a black brown instead of a black because Rosalie has naturally long, beautiful eyelashes. So she didn't really need a lot of, you know, length or color. So I'm going to be using the NYC New York Color in Brownish Black. And it's in this blue container right here. The next thing I'm going to do is apply a lipstick. Since I went kind of neutral on the eyes other than the black eyeliner, I'm deciding to use a red lipstick. I think that's a classic, you know, beautiful color that was used a lot and a bunch of sophisticated looks. So I'm going to be using it in just a red by Mary Kay. It really doesn't get any redder than this. This is a pure red. I don't know if you can really see that color, but it is absolutely stunning. And since it is a dark color, I'm going to be using a lip brush. Eyes too. And this is the finished look. I hope y'all enjoy it. Um, here's a pretty close up of what it looks like. And I hope y'all enjoyed it and I will talk to y'all later. Bye!